Hi YouTubers, uh, welcome to my channel. Um, in this video, I will show you a direct comparison between two streaming services, which will enable to stream uh, PC VR content uh, to your Oculus Quest. Uh, the Oculus Link has been out since uh, November 11th, and I've bought the anchor cable, which was uh, recommended by Oculus, and uh, it's been working great. Um, the other method I've been using for quite some time now, uh, and it's a method uh, that uses Wi-Fi, a Wi-Fi connection. So you will need uh, a Wi-Fi access point, which is capable of 5 GHz AC, Wi-Fi AC. Um, and uh, your computer needs to be connected to the access point as well. So you get your PC to the access point, access point 5 GHz Wi-Fi AC streaming to your West. And uh, to enable that uh, streaming um, by Wi-Fi, you can use uh, different solutions. Um, you have a virtual desktop, you have ALVR, which, have, which I have been using a lot, and uh, you also have Vridge uh, and some, some other more exotic uh, solutions, I guess. Uh, but the main two that everybody knows is uh, virtual desktop, I guess, and uh, ALVR. Um, so for those two solutions to work, you really need, uh, of course, the Wi-Fi connection, but also you need a, a capable PC VR uh, PC, which uh, is also uh, the case when you are using the Oculus Link. So everything, every the processing, the image processing, uh, the game processing is all done on your PC. And this PC here um, is a really box standard affair. It's a, a Coffee Lake 8400. Uh, Intel processor uh, combined with 16 gigs of uh, RAM and a JPX, uh, NVIDIA JPX uh, 1070 graphics card. So nothing fancy there, but it has served me well. Um, the Quest itself uh, is a fragment Quest, as you can see. So uh, it's a deluxe audio strap uh, with a, a little extra battery here for uh, extra counterweight, uh, which uh, enhances the uh, quality and the comfort uh, a lot. Uh, the footage that you will see is recorded by the uh, recording capabilities of the Quest itself. Uh, to my surprise, uh, I was able to you know, hit the record button uh, from uh, the Quest and uh, switch to the link uh, and the recording just continued. So the footage that you will see is a direct comparison in what you can expect when you are wearing the Quest. So no trickery there. Because, uh, as you know, you can uh, record footage from your screen, but that's not the same. So, uh, the footage that you will see is recorded by the Quest itself. So, in this video, I will put them side by side. And uh, it will show you a little sequence from a game, Apollo 11 HD. Uh, and uh, it's a scene where there's a lot of contrast. It's very dark, it's the approach uh, of the moon, the lunar surface. And you will see a lot of deep blacks, you will see a lot of contrasty stars and, 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 and the, the rise of the sun. And also the, the, some footage of the, the lunar module and uh, the, the command module. So, um, yeah, just uh, I urge you to check the video out and you will see there are a lot of differences. Uh, but uh, let me run you by the footage and uh, let's discuss it after footage, what I think is the better option here, and uh, what my experiences are so far. Okay, let's roll! I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the
Eagle Houston, the alignment and the initialization look good to us, over. Uh, Roger, thank you. Eagle Houston, would you have Columbia go to the high gain, y'all zero, pitch, minus two zero, over. Apollo 11, Houston, we are go for undocking, over. Roger, understand. Roger, Eagle, undock. Roger, how does it look? The Eagle has wings. Roger. Houston we, Houston, we see you on the terrible, over. I do believe you got thrusters on board that vehicle. Okay, you've got it. Do it, Nathan. Uh, Roger, let us know when you're ready to copy. We have a DOI pad the, and a PDI pad, over. Guidance says we're going. Coming up on five minutes to ignition, Gene Cran's getting a go, no go for descent. Okay, now, that was the footage. Um, as you can see, there's, there's a big difference. Uh, the first difference that uh, is even more apparent uh, in the headset itself than uh, on a, a, a computer screen is that the link uh, footage is a lot brighter um, and that's not a good thing um, the quest has only panels and uh, the footage that I'm experiencing the image quality that I'm experiencing is more akin to the Rift S uh, than, than, than what I would expect from an OLED panel uh, which is used in the quest here uh, so also the ALVR footage for me uh, and again, it's more apparent in uh, the headset, is a lot crisper, it's, it's, it's more contrasty, there's, there's a lot more definition. Um, the link side is a little softer, especially around the edges, but the thing that bothers me the most is that, that, that the footage um, is a lot, and I mean a lot, less immersive. Uh, when I was using ALVR, the blacks are really black, the stars are there, you, you really feel as if you are there. It's, it's, it's funny to explain with the Rift S, the, well, with the Oculus Link, the, 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 the deep blacks are gone, uh, the, the contrast is gone, and uh, it's, it's funny, it's, it's like a Rift S, and, and then the blacks are more grey, and I didn't like it that much, but uh, I guess uh, since it pretends to be a Rift S by using the link. Um, you get, I guess, uh, the same color reproduction, same contrast levels that they are sending to the Rift S if it were native Rift S. So maybe, I don't know. Still, the image quality is good on the link, it's, it's good, uh, but the ALVR software wins hands down for me, which is, which is great. Um, also what I've noticed is that, uh, and that's in other games, I will do a comparison later between the Link and uh, ARVR in other games, uh, which will show you another aspect, which is that uh, control tracking, because the headset tracking is, is phenomenal in ARVR and in the Link it's just spot on, it's, there's no latency, the, the refresh rate is it's, it's, it's good, it's stable, it's, it's very good. Um, but the hand tracking, the controller tracking, I would guess that, that in the Oculus Link software, 
it's it's a hair better. It's, it's a little better, I guess. Uh, I need to test upon this uh, even more. But I think the latency when using ALVR is just a little more apparent than when using Link. So, um, but I need to, 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 to do some more tests uh, by using uh, games like, like Beat Saber or ALVR, um, excuse me, Skyrim or, or uh, Vader Immortal or something. So uh, I will check that out. Um, so if you want uh, more information on that, uh, I would say please subscribe and uh, hit that little bell button. Uh, so when another video is coming up, you will be informed immediately. So for now, I must say the winner, ALVR. Uh, I will also do a comparison between ALVR and virtual desktop so that you get a real sense of what streaming uh, platform is better here. Mind you, uh, virtual desktop is great, it has a good interface and, and, and it's nice and you can, you can start it from, from your quest and it has a lot of possibilities. But ALVR for Steam VR streaming, uh, it's a better solution. But more of that in another video. So let me know uh, in the description below um, what you like. Uh, what footage you like the best? Uh, do you like the ALVR stream or do you like the Oculus Link stream? Just let me know. And also, if you have any suggestions uh, for me to 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 to, to cover, uh, please uh, let me know in the description below, and I'll be glad to to do some videos uh, for you guys. Um, okay, I'll catch you guys in the next one, and uh, have a nice day. Bye.